Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at a PS3 Frankenstein. So essentially what it is, is... Let me just post this reply. Uh, it's a PS3 with a 40 nanometer GPU. So essentially, as you see there, 40 nanometer RSX. And the way it used to work up until a few days ago, is you would reap all the chip, and you would use one of these guys, which is an Orbis mod chip. A few days ago, uh, some uh, syscon codes came out that you can just write depending on your model. So if you scroll through this, I'll leave this checked. There are different codes for different uh, motherboard types. So for PS3s it's CK001, CK002, so on and so forth. They're your, okay, these are just kind of broken chips, but not broken, but chips I pulled. This is a regular 90 nanometer, right? This is what you would use on a regular fat PS3. And I believe this one, yes, this one is, as you see there, 5301 is a slim RSX. I still need to reball this one properly. So essentially what people have been doing is reballing the chips onto the motherboard. So this is a CK, 002 model and have been putting on one of these guys so i've been trying it out and i couldn't get it to work i'm not sure what i did wrong with this chip and i kept getting 30 34 error i didn't post any of this because once again didn't think this would work so today i decided to try the following code as you see there i wrote this after my console wouldn't boot so i used as per usual syscon the difference this time is i did internal readings to, to kind of figure out what was going on so console was booting at least once i wrote that code it seemed like it was booting so i decided to button it all back together and this was actually my second power on which as you see there console boots fine i'm just i just click yes to to, to make it auto detect the hdmi green light dashboard or uh whatever you want to call it uh, the user interface and it actually looks kind of very bright I'm not sure because I usually do AV so it's all back together well not really back together just in a test shell because I wanted to figure out if this would work and it did so this is kind of going to be a hodgepodge short video because I don't have it all figured out it's on an iPhone <laughs> um, and I only have 11 minutes so as you see that's the console that's the uh, thing should be booting up Boot times does seem like it, it, it lags a little bit, but that might just be like a hard drive thing or I don't have it put together. Now, as you see there, it's gonna boot up perfectly fine. At least it was booting perfectly fine. There we go. Um, that lags probably from the hard drive. So this is an eBay console, as you see, it's kind of dirty. I wanna put it back together and then kind of figure it out. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it and actually take it fully apart to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about internally. Ah, uh, so maybe this is going to come in handy. Uh, so if you're doing it, same thing as Orbis mod, you need to change this resistor. So you pull this, you put this guy diagonally there. Uh, it comes from right up there. Didn't know an iPhone would do this, but it is. So there to there diagonally. Uh, on some boards, there's some other stuff you have to change. I'll leave it. You have to do a voltage mod, which I'll show you on the other side what that entails of, but I didn't do it yet because I just got this to work. And I'll show you guys a GPU also. Alrighty, so this is the innards of it, right? This is a PS3 motherboard. Your cell, your RSX. So once again, normally you have one of these guys. As you see, difference is 90 nanometer, 45. This is from a slim, this is from a fat. So what you do is if you have the tools, you can reball one of these, they come in leaded. I probably did this lead free just because I probably took it from another, I don't remember. It's either leaded or lead free, it doesn't matter. If you can lift the chip, you can put the chip back. Then you kind of clean it up, put thermal paste, and you want to put back on your IHS. Uh, same thing with this, you want to delid it and put back on your IHS. So I'm going to clean all of this up. As you see, it's a slim. I think it's an E model. Uh, yeah. As you see, C O K O O two. It's an E model gonna play ps2 games so i'm gonna start cleaning this all up and putting it back together and uh i'll show you guys once we keep on going deeper and deeper 
into this process. Alrighty, so this is it cleaned up. Essentially, you also need to do a voltage mod. So, well, you get that from a slim console. So I'll post, I'll post all of this. The RSX cleaned up, cell cleaned up. I'm gonna put this back in the uh, shell and then we'll kind of come back to it in a second. Alrighty, so console, it's clean. Uh, put back together, at least in a shell. Power it off, let's power it on and see if it works. So with the voltage mod that I showed, that's just to lower the voltage so the chip takes like less power. Um, as you see, still power's on. So I, I put new thermal paste on RSX cell, cleaned everything up, put back my pads. As you see, still booting. <coughs> time is gonna be there now because I put back in the time, put back on a nicer fan. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna keep process going, putting it back together more and more and more. And just hopefully in the next shot, it'll be a full console. Alrighty, so uh, we're back. Console's more or less put back together. Only the top cover's missing. Um, yeah, it's been running some Lego game I have. I've just put it in and let it kind of loop in the um, main screen for a while. And yeah, this is kind of what we have. So it seems to be working perfectly fine. Um, you know, as expected. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just going to continue putting it back together and uh, we'll come back, I guess, with it in its full shell, I guess. So, yeah. Alright, alrighty guys, so I'm back. Uh, once again, console's fully put back together. I don't like this guy, so I'm going to probably look for a different top. But as you can see, everything's back. Game's back in there, running perfectly fine. It does sound a bit loud, but this is just the way ps3s are it's not louder than average and i do feel it's sucking in cold air from all sides so yeah there's been no issues with like glitches or any of that so yeah this one has been a success <laughs> it took me a long time to get here actually um multiple re re repairs attempts whatever you want to call it but yeah if you guys want to know anything more about this, sorry I didn't have the whole process. This has just kind of been something I've been working not on video. On and off a video and I don't have enough to make like a full Revolve video. But it's essentially the same as any other Revolve you've seen me do with the PS3 or the 360s. Essentially it's the same thing. If you like this type of stuff or have any questions, leave it down below. As always, like, comment, subscribe. That's always useful. And yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. See you.